I know I'm um, no, not a spring chick again today. It's probably going to be it's gonna probably be the norm rather than the exception anymore. Uh, Republicans saying all that even if Obama asked for a hundred trillion dollars to, to guarantee his reelection, they are more than willing to give him every penny. But I mean, you know, but though the Democrats will make the announcement though that the President of the United States just caved in once again to every Republican demands. Did they get any deficit cutting out of anything they've done so far? No. Did they get any changes in the way business is being done by the White House? No. Did they get any real changes in rules and regulations? No. They got nothing from him, but it looked like they made him concede to everything. Oh, here's another one, too. Um, Obama being shared over his new ideas. Well, you know, what new ideas? Everything is exactly the same thing as before. And it won't even be for uh, God knows how long before he'll have something on paper for people to look at. He, he does want his deficit reduction committee, though, to come up with another $400 trillion in, 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 uh, in taxes in order to pay for what he's doing. So, uh, uh, Bill's court allows life sentence for juvenile murderers. Well, yeah, but that'll get thrown out eventually. It always does. Um, also, uh, uh, a federal court says that, that a state doesn't have a right to sue about a piece of legislation that adversely affects their state, which means it's you know, definitely going to the Supreme Court no matter what, folks, because you know if you pass legislation that they consider to be unconstitutional, they have a right to challenge in the court, not, unfortunately, under Obama courts. The uh, press says it's all for, no, for Republican law that was shown to be anti-worker and racist to see. They, their the whole country is fed up with the unions, and the unions are declared war on the people. And let's see, the only people that are shouting racism are the Democrats. Uh, federal judge rejects Carl Lewis, New Jersey bid, and they said, "Well, Lewis is blaming it on the fact that he's uh, he's black, and that the the governor of the state, white, doesn't want a black man representing the state." So, I love that a bit. So. Um, the historic rally boy is Israel's social protest movement, which means that people are demanding that, they, uh, that the cost of living go down well since they're in, a, in an isolated country and don't actually and have to pr bring in a lot of raw materials. Things aren't going to go down. You, you pay for a living where you're at if they don't like the situation or they just simply move someplace they do. Um, and a wild, uh, wildfires destroyed nearly a thousand homes in Texas and the costs are going up. You know, it was just funny, half the state is underwater and the other half the state is dry. The, the trick is, I remember a long time ago my grandmother said that uh, for some reason water is always where it's not needed and never where it is. Uh, like this, uh, you see, fire was fanned in part by howling winds from the remnants of tropical storm Lee out. It's just, you know, the wind from the storm has just pushed the fire a lot further than what it should have been pushed, but that's, that's the way it is with fires. I mean, give me a choice between a flood, a fire, and an earthquake, and I'll take the flood every time, because at least the building is still standing most of the time. Uh, Asia strikes again amidst Eurozone worries. It looks like um, Greece is actually going to default once again, because, you know, the, the socialist governments are just not likely to to uh, cave in to what the uh, capitalist governments want. That's the way it works, folks. Um, business post most job openings in three years, which is totally and absolutely, you know, couldn't be because if they had that many openings, people would be being hired. It, but it, it is a good deal. They, it was coincidental that it happens the day before the president's speeches, and that the business that are posting the openings most generally are owned by um, the government. And, um, uh, Libyan convoy in Niger may be Gaddafi deal. Well, I know we're just going to have to wait and see if he's in the country or if he's not in the country. Nobody has the slightest idea now. Uh, uh, Italian Senate approves 70 billion Australia, Austria, Austria, well, austerity package, which means, like the other countries, they'll just simply ignore it anyway and then do as they choose. Um, said U.S. banks offer a deal over lawsuits by Obama, and they basically said that they'll try waiting him out. So, which isn't what he wanted, and caused the, basically he's destroying the financial sector again. But, uh, let's see, 
NASA launching twin spacecraft bound for the moon, you know, that's, that's what we're doing today is we're going, instead of uh, exploring things, we're going back to places we've been before because you know what it costs to get there. Uh, Obama challenges the Republicans as anti-American unless they, you know, he never says he wants to join with them. He always says, I want them to join with me. If they join, if they don't join with me, well, then they're against American workers. Well, the problem is, is his job programs are aimed only at union workers. They're not aimed at the private sector workers, but their excuse is that uh, what happens is if the union worker gets paid, he takes that money and spends it elsewhere, and then that money gets into the economy. They just can double, triple, whatever. No, it doesn't. Because the union workers may only go to other union places, so therefore it doesn't get in the economy, out of the union economy. Um, U.S. civilian engineer found dead in Kabul. Well, you're going to see lots and lots more of that as things go along, folks. Um, uh, Lower Manhattan rising from the ashes. Uh, you know, that's sort of um, an old thing, you know. Uh, they're doing a 9-11 thing, but they really hung up on that, it's just like, um, you know, the Holocaust and Jews making everybody feel sorry forever over it. So, um, uh, but just see, Hurricane kind of ramps up power, but missing East Coast, well, the, the trick is, it, as it gets into colder water, the power diminishes. Hurricanes cease to exist in the cold Atlantic waters. Um, Stock futures down following year of sell-off. Well, you know, yesterday they were up, today they were down, and they should have been down yesterday because there was no reason for them to be up. But that's what happens, though. Um, the, let's see, uh, West Bank Zone says double dip recession unlikely, of course. You know why? Because as we're finding out, the first recession hasn't ended. If it hasn't ended, you can't have a double dip that all that happened was that the President of the United States was spending delayed everything that you needed to have happen to end a recession. Um, Dell and Baidu team up for tablets and mobiles. Well, Dell has been going backwards rapidly and, uh, and it looks like the, and they said the computer industry has basically been downgraded and the tablet industry upgraded, but at the same time people are playing tablets that are being announced are never being seen anymore. So. Uh, let's see, uh, basically like the Nevada Sheriff, the IHOP shooter had two more guns in his hand to see if he was a disgruntled uh, illegal alien that uh, should have been tossed out of the country but wasn't tossed out of the country. So therefore, if he'd have been, if the laws would have been obeyed, he wouldn't have been there to shoot. This is how it works. If you take the driver's license away from a person and the keys away from them, it's not likely they're going to drive a car to kill somebody. If uh, you toss a person out of the country that's not supposed to be here, he can't possibly be where he's at to shoot people. Uh, that's just logic that works, though. Uh, Carol Barst out of Yahoo Chief. Uh, well, the problem in the market is going up because they say that she was actually, uh, she made a lot of bad decisions. Okay, well, basically, uh, like they were talking before, I just got so really interrupted about the, um, you know, the stock market, the stocks are going up on Yahoo since this woman has been removed who is supposed to come in and save the company. They said that she made an awful lot of mistakes and got away with her mistakes because she, uh, they didn't want to fire her because she was uh, somebody's fair-haired child. So, uh, basically, I love it. They're talking once again about uh, Obama, to, Obama to oppose it, propose at least $400 million billion dollar jumpstart, you know, job program for unions. <laughs> you know, I love that. You know, I, I, he's going to have a second address, not major address to Congress, and, he's, and then after that he's going to have another speech tomorrow on it, and then followed by more speeches. Like I said, this will be the 209th speech he's made on, on jobs, and he hasn't created anything yet. You know, like, I was listening this morning, two million dollars for jobs in one thing. You know, if I had six hundred billion, six hundred million dollars for bankrupt, co the company's going bankrupt. So you tell me that works. Um, let's see. The break. See, they're handicapping uh, Obama's re-election chances. They said that unfortunately, he said it, it, if his chances would be when, when hell freezes over, except for the fact that the Republicans basically refuse to run anybody that can beat him. So. Isn't that amazing? Um, 
Basically, uh, we go down to we got a morning vote to march for the animal kingdom. Just because a smartphone says it's smart doesn't mean you can figure out how to use it. <laughs>